Welcome to the 1963 6 o'clock news. Today we have Michael in the field giving us more details about developing stories that have effective lives all across the world. Cruz. I'm currently out here on the outer edge of the fire where it has not yet burned. However, we are in the fire's path currently. Um, I'm here with Fire Marshal Billy Joel actually, and we are uh, searching for the start of this fire, what you might say sparked this fire. Currently, what he seems to think is this has been an accumulation of events for the past two years, and that is what actually ignited this fire. So, Billy, some say this might have been an inside job from the fire department. So if it wasn't the fire department, do you have any ideas as to what could have sparked this fire? Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, Ole Miss, John Glenn, Distant Beats, Patterson, Pope Paul, Malcolm X, British politician sex, JFK, blown away, what else do I have to say? Oh, we weren't accusing you, Billy. Let's head back to the newsroom where Cruz and Brooke Stark can fill us in on more. Thanks, Michael. After Fire Marshal Billy Joel's statement, our news team has investigated these possible causes. First to cruise with some cultural events that may have sparked this fire. To begin, the British-American epic adventure drama film Lawrence of Arabia was released. Based on the life of the British Army officer T.E. Lawrence, the film became a monster hit and has since become a cinematic classic often regarded as one of the greatest movies ever made. The next possible cause was British Beatlemania. The Beatles, a British rock group, gained media attention in England after adding Gringo Starr as their drummer. Brian Epstein as their manager and joined the EMI's Parallophone label. This was a term invented by the British press used to describe the intense fan frenzy directed toward the Beatles in their early career. In the monumental heavyweight boxing match, Sony Liston knocked out heavyweight world champion Floyd Patterson in the first round. The fight was socially significant as Liston was widely reported to have mob ties and was perceived as a thug. Prior to the fight, leaders of the NAACP asked Patterson to not agree to the fight, fearing if Liston won, his increased fame would reinforce a negative stereotype of African Americans that were prevalent at the time. To finish off, Last year, on February 20th, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth. Just a year earlier, Yuri Gargan from Russia had become the first man to go to space. Thus, Glenn's achievements served as redemption for the U.S. and was a major step forward in the famous space race with the USSR. In addition to these cultural events, Fire Marshal Billy Joel also listed some other events that may have sparked this fire. Brooke, would you please fill us in? Sure. Thank you, Cruz. The first political event, according to Fire Marshal Billy, was the Profumo scandal that was finally brought to light this June. The scandal broke out when British Secretary of War John Profumo was forced to resign from his position when word got out of his infidelity with a young alleged prostitute, Christine Keeler, that ended supposedly two years ago in 1951. This year, when the press approached Keeler about her previous affairs, she revealed that she was in fact having an affair with British War Minister Profumo and a Soviet naval attaché Ivanov at the same time. Colonel George Wig took news of the affair straight to the House of Commons, where John Profumo responded by making a statement on May 22nd, saying that there was no affair. However, on June 5th, Profumo announced that he had lied in his previous statement and that he did indeed have an affair. Following his announcement, Profimo resigned. Billy stated one of the possible causes of the fire occurred last year in Oxford, Mississippi, when violence broke out on the campus of University of Mississippi, which is better known as Old Miss. Controversy occurred when an African-American man, James Meredith, applied to this previously whites-only school. While Meredith was supported by the federal government, the Southerners living in Mississippi at the time, as well as Mississippi's own governor, Ross Barnett, were firmly against integration onto the campus. The dispute caused riots and protests to form on the Ole Miss campus, and then the decision had to be put through the court system. After winning his case, James Meredith was escorted onto the Ole Miss campus to register for classes just last October. Billy 
also told us of two influential people that became well known within the last two years that could have been responsible for the fire igniting. First we have Malcolm X, an African American leader who was part of the African American movement for blacks to take control in their communities just this year. Malcolm X is an Islamic minister who was jailed at age 20 for burglary. He is preaching Muhammad's ideals to the black community that they should separate from white society and has been receiving a ton of press attention over his controversial statements. Malcolm X is known to be quite the storyteller and an extremely engaging speaker. Malcolm X is continuing today, in 1963, to gain African American support all over the country. Another one of Fire Marshal Billy's suspects for the cause of the fire is Pope Paul VI, who became the leader of the Catholic Church just this year. Pope Paul VI, the Archbishop of Milan, was chosen by the College of Cardinals to head the Roman Catholic Church as the Bishop of Rome. Pope Paul VI is set to complete the implementation of the goals of the Second Vatican Council this year. We also have news that Pope Paul is already preparing for his United Nations address that is set to happen in two years in 1965, where he is planning on addressing many social justice issues. Finally, the last event given to us by Fire Marshal Billy Joel to investigate was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy that occurred this November on the 22nd. Kennedy was riding in an open-top automobile in a presidential motorcade when Lee Harvey Oswald shot him through the head with a sniper rifle fired from the sixth floor window of the Texas School Book Depository. After killing a Dallas policeman, Oswald was arrested when he was found hiding in a movie theater. Three government investigations were conducted and all of the results revealed that Oswald acted alone. Oswald was killed as he was being transported to prison two days after the assassination and President Lyndon B. Johnson took office. With all these events, we are now able to map the hotspots of this fire. Now let's head back to fire tracker Michael Young, who has rejoined us in the office. Yes, I believe I now have a better understanding of this developing story. The fire seems to represent the messes and poor decisions that generations before us have made. After further talk with Fire Marshal Billy Joel, we have been able to classify these hotspots as either controlled, being set by us in order to contain the fire, while others are uncontrolled areas that are contributing to the fire's expansion. Let's now take a look at the map to look at the hotspots and spread of this fire. To start, University of Mississippi, known as Old Miss, is located in Oxford, Mississippi. It is a controlled hotspot that is contributing to containing the fire because it helped put an end to segregation in the U.S. Thanks to this controlled burn led by James Meredith, African Americans now have the same rights and opportunities as whites. Malcolm X, born in Omaha, Nebraska, was a great help in containing the fire by helping African Americans gain civil rights and respect from whites. His ideals rapidly spread throughout the country through his moving speeches that are still referred to today. Next, Pope Paul is currently serving as the Pope in Rome, fighting for social justices which will increase equality for generations to come. This hotspot, Pope Paul, is a controlled burn helping halt the spread of the fire. The Profumo Affair in Britain was an uncontrolled burn that contributed to the expansion of the fire by leaving the British government with the reputation of corruption among their highly ranked officials. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy, which took place in Dallas, Texas, is an uncontrolled hotspot that fueled the fire by causing chaos to spread throughout the nation when suddenly Americans lost their leader. Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson had to be thrown into office during the nation's struggle for equality between blacks and whites. Lawrence of Arabia was released globally and was able to fuel the fire from many different places. This hit film portrayed the struggles of war by following the story of a young lieutenant who was sent as a liaison between the Arabs and the, Pr and the British in their fight against the Turks. The British Beatlemania sparked in England and quickly spread, gaining more and more raging fans. They were able to reach fans all across the globe and spread their ideals through their lyrics. The famous Liston vs. Patterson fight occurred in Chicago, Illinois. When Liston won the fight, he brought to light his mob ties and revealed more gang and mob violence and allegiances across the nation. Finally, John Glenn launched his famous orbit of the Earth from Cape Canaveral, Florida. This calmed the spread of the fire in the U.S. by improving our position in the space race against the USSR. It boosted American morale and promised a strong future for American innovations. Thank you, Michael, and this concludes our 6 o'clock broadcast.